And new tonight, six football players at Canyon de Oro High School are suspended for the remainder of the 2022 season after violating the district's zero tolerance alcohol policy. News for Tucson's David Kelly was at the Amphi School District headquarters earlier tonight as supporters of the players pled with the board for leniency. Amphi School District's 24 7 student athlete drug, alcohol, and tobacco policy has been on the books for 27 years. Supporters of the six Canyon Del Oro football players who have lost their season for violation of the policy say it is out of touch with reality. This has been really tough. It's it sucks just because this rule like it's it's way too overkill. The 24 seven policy states participants who use, possess or distribute tobacco, drugs or alcohol at any time during their season will be removed from that activity for the balance of the season. The six Dorado football players, including running back Caden Luke, were caught on a video at a party where there was alcohol present. I'd like to see it not be so severe. I mean, keep the rule, but why, a whole, why, why the rest of the year? You teach someone consequences and, the, and what happens when you break a rule, it's, this ain't it. You're teaching you fail and that's it. Tom Martinez's son was at the party but did not drink. He's suspended because the rule encompasses student athletes who are in the presence of alcohol. I think when you look at it as um, being at a private event outside of school, there's some confusion about that, number one. And number two, when you relate it to possession, um, not just not just the drinking events, it's, it's, it's a lot more complicated when it goes to, to that item. I don't want that night to define who we are. Um, it was just one mistake. Uh, we messed up, we owned up to it, and we just want the football. Now, will there be a change to this rule? Well, at the end of tonight's special meeting, board member Scott Baker called for further discussion of the district's 24-7 policy. That discussion could begin as early as the board's next meeting on November the 15th. Here at the FI School District headquarters on Wetmore, I'm David Kelly, News 4, Tucson.